Mr. Fred Red, some about the next Planet of the Apes movie this week. Do you have high hopes for the next movie, or do you think it might get silly? It is basically a silly story. So, Planet of the Apes trilogy from last from last decade is one of my favorite trilogies of all time. It's not just better than I expected it to be, it is exponentially better than it had any right to be. Uh, it is astoundingly good. Because it's a little bit of a silly concept, it was a, you know, another reboot quill type thing. And Talking Apes, kind of silly. And they found a way with all three films. I love the first one before Matt Reeves came in. I thought like that one, I didn't even see it in the theater because it was like, seriously. I, I, re I remember a friend of mine from church walked up to me. He was like, hey, you get a Planet of the Apes movie. And I remember think like trying to fake like I was interested as he, as he said it to me. Because he knew I like movies. He's like, yeah, I heard about it. I faked like I was interested, but I wasn't. Because like, this thing's going to be terrible. And on a whim, I rented it after it was out on home video. I watched it. And I was like, oh, my goodness. Like, this isn't good. This is great. <laughs> this, there's no, ironically, not, like, not, no disclaimers. No softening what I mean by that. This is just great. There's no way around it. This, I, this is amazing. And I, re I, like, went, I think I went out and bought it. And I was like, wife, you got to watch this. And I made her watch it the next day with me. It was that good. And then they replaced the director with Matt Reeves, who, of course, obviously I love, went on to do the Batman. And when they announced him while he was still finishing up War of the Planet of the Apes, while he was still doing that, and announced he's going to write and direct the Batman. Like I think I said, if Ben Affleck can't do this, I think this is the perfect guy because of his ability to tell stories with dramatic layers, complex stories, while also having silly spectacle without those two compromising each other. This is the right guy to do Batman. But the guy that they brought on to do this new set of films, and it's a continuation of that same continuity. The guy they brought in is the guy that did like the Maze Runner movies. And I believe at one point in time he was working on a Justice League film that obviously never happened. He doesn't have a track record that has impressed me yet. He, he doesn't have a movie or that thing is awesome right there. Now you could also look at Matt Reeves work when he took over Dawn of the Planet of the Apes prior to that. If I was looking at, you know, he you know, he did Cloverfield. I wouldn't go Cloverfield. This guy's going to make a fantastic blockbuster. I like Cloverfield, but it's, it doesn't exactly immediately make it obvious that this is going to be an, the awesome person to do Planet of the Apes. And like the guy that did um, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, that's his great movie. He doesn't have other ones. Can this be his one that's awesome? Maybe because they're not rushing it. He was announced working on this thing years ago. And he's still working on it. That's a good sign. They're not rushing it. And they didn't fire him. They didn't bring someone to rewrite his stuff. That's a good sign. There's one creative team spending a long time on it. They're taking their time. I like that. But I, I just can't have the highest of hopes when he's not the guy that I would have picked. Because I, I just have to base it off his past track record. And his past stuff is not things that I loved. It's not stuff that I was crazy about. Therefore... I have modest expectations. Same time, the studio that put out that last trilogy, they know how much people love those movies. They know that they were critically loved and people hold them way high up in high esteem. And they also know this director's past work, what he's done before. That's not like secret information they didn't have. So I, I think there's a hope there simply from that level of... They also knew this stuff and they're not looking to tarnish their own reputation. So he might've had a great pitch or there might be other reasons why his past stuff didn't work all that well for me. Most of these clips are pulled from my weekly Patreon live stream. Join at any level and you can join the chat and ask all the questions you want. That's for as little as $2 per month. For $5 per month, you can get your name on my end card. For $25 per month, you can have a monthly video chat with me. Link is in the description for more details and keep talking movies and TV too much.